Day one in New York City and I'm speaking quiet because I'm inside the 9-11 Museum. Behind me you can see pieces of the World Trade Center. The museum is really awesome. It's kind of built around parts of the old World Trade Center and just phenomenally done inside. Uh, some of the most really powerful images and things that they have salvaged you aren't able to film. So I couldn't film a lot of that, but um, just a really sobering experience to be here. Like, I'm glad we came. It's kind of a hard first day uh, thing to do in New York, but it's really well done. What's also neat to be here is today is 9-9, but on Sunday is the 15 year anniversary um, of 9-11. So there's just a lot going on and it's just really cool to be in the city and just remember um, our nation and all the heroes and just pay tribute to the people that were fallen on that day. is worth the uh, price of admission. <laughs> I don't know why we're whispering. Been yelping it up, using the map on Yelp. Map's critical. Ran into Matthew McConaughey last night. He actually talked to me. <laughs> Tons of Shake Shack. There was a debate about Shake Shack better being well, it's, it's as good as In N Out. I've crushed at least a thousand In N Out burgers. It doesn't even compare to Shake Shack. Shake Shack dominates. That burger is a little bit more expensive. Which I, I can I can rationalize because it's like a hundred times better. New York has just been a big sweat fest. Uh, it's been a bummer. It's been really hot. Like, I wouldn't say it's a bummer. I would just say it's just something you got to deal with. I mean, New York, you could in September. You want it to be a little cooler. It's been so fun to just have no schedule, no kids hanging on me. Sleeping in. We slept in till what ten o'clock, which is seven our time, but still staying out till two a.m. It felt wild. Does it include a server? And he goes, no, it doesn't include the server. I'm like, well, then we're not moving. Customer service is seriously 90% of eating a nice meal. It's just, it's just the best. I feel like I'm eating dinner at someone's house. <laughs> So. <laughs> okay. We are over in the Chelsea area. It's so cute and charming over here. Off to find brunch and the highlight. It's a little breezy. Bad day for a hat and a dress. But it's all good. Whoa. 
Whoa. place called the Highline Hotel and it's adorable I want to stay here next time I love this place we're waiting for brunch across the street and we came to check it out I'm drinking some really good cold brew so hip time to go eat brunch Look at that mouse. Huge. Actually, it was a rat. Absolutely, right there. Ash, <laughs> watch out. You guys know what that is? No, I know what the, the things that are flying. Oh, the flies. Flies? So you think they're pretty big, though? They're huge. No, they're not flying. See? Nope, nobody else. Yeah. Are you capturing people's reactions? I am. I know. Because you get, are you guys locals here? Yes. I mean, you live here. Yes. And you've seen these lights all week. Yes, I've seen the lights, but, but I see the But you've never seen that. No. No. Have you? No, I've been here for three days, but I mean. Well, we've been talking to New Yorkers everywhere. And this is not sort of typical, common. Maybe they're birds, but nobody really knows. Let's see if these cops have any insight. Do you guys know what's going on there? On the right? It's pretty unique, right? Yeah. Everybody that walks by. Everybody has a different theory. 
and every single person in New York right now at what one in the morning okay. is talking about what the heck is going on and I think it's different for different people believe what you want to believe but either way even if it is birds or bats I think everyone thinks it's so magical and thinks it's like a lot of people have said spirits and angels like I just we have arrived at Magnolia Bakery. Totally stoked and excited. legitimate mansage in Chinatown and Nash got a mansage and uh, great experience it was like 40 bucks for an hour full body deep tissue not just deep tissue some of the guys in there were literally crying and now we're off to uh, an escape room I think it's gonna be great for our marriage work on tactics to get out of a room in an hour after a nice massage 